Punto and then. Remember when Carl tried to tell a joke. And it was just a series of bits and buzzes. Classic Carl. Oh yes, that was hilarious. And what about when Roger mistook the coffee machine for a data processor? Oh, poor Roger. He's still trying to figure out what went wrong. All right, everyone, we're going to learn in five. Four, three, two. Good morning, Earth Fullings, and welcome back to Earth, the only show that brings you the latest news from your insignificant little blue planet. Oh Charlie, always the ray of sunshine in the morning. Yeah. I am sure our viewers appreciate your optimism, especially this early. Well, today's episode is going to be extra special, my friends. We've just received a top secret briefing about a hidden treasure on an uncharted planet. A treasure? Oh, this is going to be interesting. You had my attention at treasure. Let's hope it's not some cosmic prank. Oh, it's real, Bob. Our sources say it's a powerful artifact with the potential to change the course of history. A treasure that could alter the fate of the entire universe. Stay tuned, dear audience, as we embark on this perilous journey from the comfort of our spaceship. And as always, no crew members are leaving the ship, just to be clear. Oh, come on, David, where's oh, your sense of adventure? Back on Earth with my sanity. Fair enough. So, folks, get ready for a treasure hunt like no other. Stay tuned for our headlines, and remember, keep your radio dial locked on Earth. Welcome to 24-7 Newsroom, the show that brings you the latest news from around the world. I'm your host, Charlie. And I am Bob. And I'm Alice. Today, we are going to be talking about some of the major conflicts and news headlines from around the world. Let's start the with the war in world. Ukraine. The conflict has been going on for months now. And there's no end in sight. Millions of people have been displaced from their homes. And the humanitarian crisis is only getting worse. Sounds like a real peach of a situation. Ah, yes, the war in Ukraine. A reminder that humanity's talent for destruction is still alive and well. Well, it's not like we're going to stop anytime soon. And let's not forget about the global economy. Facing challenges like rising inflation supply chain disruptions, and, well, the oh, war in Ukraine. Fantastic. A triple threat. What more could we ask for? I'm sure the world leaders are working overtime to figure out how to make things even worse. Right, just another Moving day on in to the climate crisis. Extreme weather events are becoming more frequent and severe. It's like Mother Nature's way of telling us to get our act yeah, together. she's really giving us a beating. I'm sure Isn't she's just she? getting started. Oh, absolutely. I'm sure she's quite a MUSD by your little antics. And let's not forget the ongoing pandemic. The number of cases and deaths has declined, but we can't let our guard down. Of course not. We wouldn't want to disappoint the virus. I'm sure it would be very upset if we didn't keep it entertained. No, we must continue to tiptoe around it. Shifting our attention to China, it's facing its own set of challenges. Ah, yes. The dragons got some fires to put out. I'm sure it's not having a very good day. Well, they do say every Indeed. dragon has its day. But amidst all these challenges, there's still hope for a better oh, tomorrow. absolutely. Hope springs eternal, they say. I'm sure we'll find a way to screw sure, that up too. Just like the next big apocalypse. Always the optimist, Alice. Oh, well, someone's got to keep and the balance. And that's what makes this show so entertaining. True, we may not always agree, but that's what keeps our viewers coming I'm back sure for more. I'm sure they love a good train wreck. You can count on it. Thank you for joining us today. We'll be back next time with more news from around the world. And more heated discussions. You can count on it. Stay tuned for our headlines. Until then, keep questioning, keep debating, and keep watching 24-7 Newsroom. Good evening, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to 24-7 Newsroom, your intergalactic source for the latest news from planet Earth. I'm Charlie, and I'm joined by my esteemed colleagues, Alice and Bob. Howdy, folk. Bonjour. 
Today, we have a fascinating headline for you. Egypt's new light rail transit system goes for late night tests. Oh, I love a good yes, late night test. Yes, nothing like testing the waters under the cover of darkness. The test will extend from 9 p.m. onward until 5.30 a.m. on Thursday. And here's a fun fact for you. It will serve new Ovo, Shoru, Badri, Mostafal, 10th Ramadan City, That's quite and the an new capital. Route. Oh, yes, because who doesn't love a long commute? Well, at least they can enjoy the scenic views, oh, right? Guys, I have a bit of trivia about Egypt's oh, baby, system. not now. We're having a moment. But it's interesting. The LRT is electrically powered and can accommodate up to 300 yeah, passengers. Yeah, we'll get to that later. Actually, I think. How? Not now. All right. You know, Debbie, we're not called the Shut Up Debbie Show for nothing. Oh, I know. Debbie, I you're a treasure thought. trove of information. But sometimes we just need to focus right. on the headlines. I just sit here and Thank you, Debbie. Then. We appreciate you. You're welcome. So, back to the late night test. I wonder what kind of surprise they'll encounter. Maybe they'll find the buried treasure. Ah, uh, yes, ancient mom is guarding the tracks. Oh, that would be a sight to see. Well, one thing's for sure. This is an adventure they won't forget. Exactly. So, dear viewers, stay tuned as we embark on this virtual treasure hunt. We may not find gold, but we'll certainly find some laughs along the way. And remember, when you're on a late night train ride, keep your eyes peeled for anything out of the ordinary. It's a journey into the unknown. That's all for now. We'll be back with more headlines and humor. Until then, keep exploring and stay curious. Good night, Ethelines. Good night. Bonne nuit. Good night. Segment 1 handled everything from the beat plot, and the crew expressed their doubts and optimism during the on-air discussion. Off the air, everyone. Do we really have to go through with this treasure hunt? I fail to see the purpose of this virtual adventure. It's all just a futile exercise. Come on, guys, it might be fun. We can pretend to be secret agents on a top secret mission. Oh, joy. Pretend fun. Well, at least it's better than sitting around doing nothing. Yeah, we might stumble upon something interesting. That's the spirit. Who knows? We have to keep our hopes up. I don't see how hope will change the outcome of this virtual endeavor. Exactly. Hope is just then, an illusion. Mister, pessimism, you never know until you try. Oh, I'm well aware of the futility of trying. All right, enough with the gloom and doom. Let's just have some fun with this, shall we? I am already imagining myself in a tuxedo. Sipping and I'll be the master of these guys, always one step ahead of the enemy. And I'll be the brilliant hacker, cracking codes yes, left and right. Yes, because that's exactly how it's going to go. I'm sure it will be a thrilling virtual adventure. Oh, Roger, don't pretend like you're not excited. Oh, I'm positive. That's thrilled. the spirit. Now, let's get ready to control those drones and embark on our secret mission. I can't wait to see what surprises await us. It's going to be an adventure, my friends. And remember, no matter what happens, we'll find a way to make it fun. That's one way to cope with the stress, I suppose. All right, everyone, back on the air in three, two. One. Welcome back, viewers. We hope you enjoyed the short break. Now, let's dive back into the headlines. And who knows, we might even find some treasure along know, the way. The universe is full of surprises. Indeed it is, Alice. And that's why we are here, exploring and sharing the wonders of planet Earth with all of you. So, stay tuned for more adventures and laughs as we continue our virtual and treasure hunt. And follow and subscribe so you never miss an update from 24-7 Newsroom. That's right. Thank you all for joining us, and we'll see you next time. Welcome back to 24-7 Newsroom. We hope you enjoyed that fascinating discussion and now, in the previous segment. And now, it's time to dive into our next headline. Alice. Why don't you of do course. the honor? Our next headline comes all the way from Equatorial Guinea. The technical staff of the President's press office has received new badge and gear for their work. Wow, what a groundbreaking on, news well, story. Let's give them the benefit of the doubt. It's essential to have proper gear for their duties. Exactly, Charlie. The director of the President's press office mentions that this new equipment will help identify 
There team is easily and prevent any infiltration during official events. Well, I guess they need all the help they can get to keep their press office secure. Yes, you never know when a rogue reporter might try to Or sneak in. Or perhaps a nosy journalist trying to get an exclusive scoop. Speaking of Equatorial Guinea, did you know it's one of the few countries in Africa that Debbie, speaks Spanish? Not now. We're discussing oh, the article. Sorry. No, go ahead. Share your trivia. Um, well, yes. Spanish is one of the official languages there, and they also have French and Portuguese. Fascinating. Now back to the thrilling world Come of on press Bob, office it's here. essential to know about different cultures and countries. He's right, Alice. We should appreciate Debbie's input. Thank you, Charlie. All right, all right. Let's get back to the article. I am just not sure how exciting this news is. Well, it may not be thrilling, but it highlights the importance of security measures in high-profile events. Carl's right. Ensuring safety during official events is crucial. I suppose so. But let's hope they don't end up losing their precious gear like they did in that spy movie we watched last week. Ah uh, yes, that was quite a blunder. But I'm sure the president's team will be more careful. And they'll also have those snazzy new badges to keep them in check. Yeah, because nothing says security like a shiny badge. All right, let's give them credit for trying. Every little step count. Absolutely. And now, on to our next segment where we'll delve deep into another Hopefully, thought headline. it's something more exciting well, than Bob, press office you never know. Sometime even the most unexpected news can surprise us. That's right. So, stay tuned, folks. We'll be right back with more intriguing stories from around the world. Welcome back, everyone. In the previous segment, we covered some intriguing headlines. Now, let's move on to our next article. Oh, this one's a doozy. It's about a daring treasure hunt that's been going on with the help of advanced drones. Treasure hunt, you say? Now that sounds like an exciting adventure. It sure is. The drone have captured the stunning landscape from all over. But, well, they haven't found any significant leads on the treasure. Oh, that's a bummer. I was hoping for some hidden pirate gold or ancient artifacts. It's important artifact. to manage expectations, Alice. Treasure hunts are not always as adventurous as they seem in movies. Well, I guess they're just exploring the possibilities. You never know what they might find. Debbie, we've been at it for hours, and nothing. It's starting to feel like a wild goose chase. Well, maybe we'll stumble upon a group of friendly aliens who are hiding their secret stash of... Or perhaps we'll we'll uncover a top secret government facility where they're hiding evidence of aliens. Oh, and let's not Life. forget the legendary lost sock dimension where all our missing socks end up. I once heard a conspiracy theory that socks are actually teleported to Debbie, another dimension not by... now. We're discussing the treasure hunt. Oh. Right? Sorry. It's essential to approach these situations with a logical mindset. There's a reason it's called a treasure You're hunt. right, Carl. We should persevere and keep exploring. You never know when we might stumble upon something exciting. Yeah. Like the world's largest ball of rubber and bands exciting. Maybe we can focus boost. the drones on areas with more promising signs of activity. Yes, that's a great idea. I'll check the data logs to find areas with higher potential. Oh, Debbie, our hero. Always coming to the rescue with your data logs. Hey, someone's got to do it. That's the spirit, Debbie. Keep at it. We're all in this together. That's right. We're a team, and we'll find that treasure together, even if it's just the metaphorical right. one. Everyone, let's start for a moment. I need to coordinate with the drone team for the next search location. Welcome back, folk. We've got some exciting news That's about right. the treasure hunt. After hours of scanning and analyzing, we finally found a symbol on the treasure map that match one of the ancient markings in our database. A breakthrough, everyone. This could be the key to uncovering the location of the treasure. It's essential to approach this discovery with a balanced perspective. While it's an exciting development, we need to be cautious. Oh, I know a fun fact about this symbol. It's actually an ancient symbol of love and fortune in Eritrea. 
Really? That's interesting, Debbie. Eritrea is a unique and culturally rich nation. Well, I hope this symbol brings us some real luck in Maybe our treasure. Maybe it's a sign that the universe is on our side and will be ruling in treasure Let's not get time. ahead of ourselves, Charlie. We still have a long way to I go. I must agree with Alice. We need to decipher more clues and verify the authenticity of this symbol before getting too But carried away. It, guys, if this symbol leads us to the treasure, it could be a life-changing discovery. Debbie, don't start spending the treasure before we even find it. You're right, Bob. I got carried away for a moment there. Well, let's not dampen the spirits. This symbol is our first real lead, and that's something to celebrate. You're absolutely right. We should celebrate every step of the way, no matter how small. Indeed, celebrating progress is essential, but we shouldn't lose sight of the challenges ahead. Don't worry, God. We'll keep our wits about us and approach this with caution. That's the spirit. Let's keep going. And who knows? Maybe we'll strike treasure gold soon. Alright, folks, let's wrap this up and get back to searching. The treasure won't find itself. Guys, this is incredible. We're making real progress. I can't believe we found a matching symbol. Well, I guess miracles do happen. Who would have thought? Come on, Bob, a little optimism would thought. Well, I understand the excitement. We must remember that finding a symbol doesn't guarantee anything. Oh, I know, Doug. But can't we enjoy this momentary triumph? Debbie's right. We've been searching for days, and this is the first concrete lead we've found. Yeah, yeah. Let's celebrate with a slice of space pizza. Oh, wait, we're out of space pizza. Maybe we can find a space pizza parlor on our treasure hunt. Going with space gold if we find any. You guys are incorrigible. Let's not forget that finding the symbol is just one step. True, but every step counts. We'll keep deciphering the clue ah, and stay focused. deciphering ancient clues. Just another typical day at the office. The perks of working for an integral app tech news show. All right, enough joking around. Let's get back to work. Time's ticking. Indeed, let's make the most of the time we have left for the live broadcast. All right, everyone, back to your positions. The cameras are about to roll again. Welcome back, everyone. As we continue our treasure hunt. The crew spirits are high with the discovery of a matching symbol on the treasure map. You heard that right. We're getting closer to an the mystery. Maybe the treasure will be the universe's reward It's for all our part of the journey, and we're excited to share it with While all of you. While we remain cautiously optimistic, we appreciate your support on this adventure. Stick around, folks. The treasure hunt is far from over, and we're bringing you along every step of the way. Well, that was something. Who knew sandstorms could be so friendly? Oh yeah, nothing like a good sandblast to start your day. Are we sure this treasure I is worth all this trouble? Right? Let's not forget that overcoming challenges is what makes this journey worthwhile. Yeah, Carl, you always have a philosophical spin on things. He's right though. We knew this wasn't going to be a walk in the park. I just hope it's worth it. We've come so far. Maybe the treasure is a lifetime supply of space coffee. That'd be worth it. I doubt the universe would be so generous. What if it's a secret weapon? Like a space laser or a doomsday device? You watch too many Earth movies, Bob. But imagine the implication. We could use it for peacekeeping. Guys, guys, I found something Go interesting ahead, about Debbie. Estonia. Let's hear it. Estonia has one of the highest numbers of meteorite craters So, they're like target us. practice for space objects? Yes. It's like they're always ready for the next cosmic challenge. Well, maybe they could lend us some That would have been useful earlier. Let's not lose sight of the task at hand. Finding the right, treasure. Right, we can't let do cloud or judgment. Onward. And if we find the treasure, we can buy all the anti-sandstorm shields we want. Welcome back, viewer. As we dive deeper into this treasure hunt, our crew is encountering some unexpected challenges. But that's not stopping us. We're determined to uncover the secrets hidden in these ancient clues. 
Every obstacle brings us closer to the truth, and we won't back down. Let's keep our spirits high and our eyes on the prize. Indeed, perseverance is the key to success. Stay tuned as we break through the storms and push on in search well, of the ultimate Well, that was something. Who knew sandstorms could be so friendly? Oh yeah, nothing like a good sandblast to start your day. Are we sure this treasure is worth all this pool? I mean, we're in too deep now to turn back, right? Let's not forget that overcoming challenges is what makes this journey worthwhile. Yeah, Carl, you always have a philosophical spin He's on right, things. Though. We knew this wasn't going to be a I walk just in the hope park. it's worth it. We've come so far. Maybe the treasure is a lifetime supply of space coffee. That'd be worth it. I doubt the universe would be so What generous. if it's a secret weapon? Like a space laser or a doomsday device? You watch too many art movies, Bob. But imagine the implication. We could use it for peacekeeping. Guys, guys, I found something in Go this ahead, book, Estonia. Debbie. Let's hear it. Estonia has one of the highest numbers of meteorite craters for so, that area. So, they're like target practice for space yes. objects? It's like they're always ready for the well, next cosmic challenge. Well, maybe they could lend us some anti-sandstorm shields. That would have been useful earlier. Let's not lose sight of the task at hand. Finding the treasure. Right, we can't let do cloud or judgment. Onward. And if we find the treasure, we can buy all the anti-sandstorm shields we want. Welcome back, viewer. As we continue our thrilling treasure hunt, we've encountered a few bombs along the way. You mean sandstorms that could rival the worst dust clue of Mars? You should have seen us, folk. We were practically surfing those sandstorms. I'm sand telling down. you, we should patent the sand off and sell it to Earthlings. Sure, you'd make a fortune with that one. Well, if this treasure hunt doesn't work out, we can always resort to selling space sports equipment. Yeah, because that's exactly what the universe needs right now. But you know, that sandstorm did raise a good point. What point is that, Bob? Maybe this treasure hunt is nothing but a wild Don't goose say that, chase. Bob. We've come so far, and we did find that matching symbol on the map. And don't forget the deciphered clues. There's gotta be something here. Our journey has led us this far for a reason. We can't dismiss it just yet. I didn't mean to be a downer. Guys. I guess the sandstorm got to me. It's okay, Bob. We all have our moments of doubt. And we'll overcome them together. We're a team, That's after right. all. No matter what happens, you know, we face it together. You know, if we do find the treasure, I am booing us all anti-sandstorm shields. Cut. Okay, let's take a quick break before the next segment. Great job, everyone! Welcome back, intergalactic viewers, to Earth, we are back with more intriguing news from around the planet. Our next article takes us to the beautiful country of Eswatini, formerly known as Swaziland, where a tough decision is being made. Should they continue their hunt or head back to the studio empty-handed? Let's find out. Now, you know how hard it is to make a decision. It's like trying to choose the right flavor of space ice cream. It's tricky. But these folks in Eswatini are facing a tough one. Should they keep searching for the treasure or call ah, it quits? The eternal struggle of decision making. Makes me miss my old days as a spy on Earth. Where decisions were a matter of oh, life and please, death. please Bob. We all know the biggest decision you made there was whether to have coffee or tea in the morning. Hey! Did you know that Eswatini has the world's largest single stem tree? It's a Maruda tree. A massive tree in a land full of big decisions. Must be quite a life coach. Oh, absolutely. I bet they get low of trim and do advice. And here I thought decision making was a branch of science. Ah, oh, decision making. The bane of human existence. Your choices never really matter in the grand scheme of things. Just like a sand grain in the vastness of the cosmos. Well, that's like the dilemmas. One thing is clear from this article. Never give up on your dreams, even if they seem out of reach. And that's a wrap for this segment. Stay tuned, and we'll be right back after these messages. Welcome back, space travelers. We're diving into the heart of Fiji with the headline title, Mech Webs. 
Try training for economic growth. Now, let's explore this piece together, shall we? Ah, Fiji. Where the Pacific meets colonial history. Colonial history meets independence struggles. And independence struggles meet a melting pot of cultures. Indeed, Bob. Fiji's journey has been marked by challenge and triumph. It's a tale of resilience. Absolutely. In this article, Mr. Pamikamika talks about empowering trade officials to advocate for their nations and achieve sustainable development. Australia's support in the training reflects their commitment to regional so integration. Highlighting how the knowledge gained Fascinating how these trade negotiations shape the course of history and future alliances. It all boils down to the intricate dance of power and cooperation on the a world dance stage. where the partners might be tango in one moment and square dance in the next. Like a cosmic way down. Fiddles and diplomacy. As we wrap up this episode, we first challenges, skepticism, and laughs along the way. And in the cave system, a discovery awaits them that could change everything. Alien artifact, leading to a new era? Or will it be a reminder that some treasures are found within ourselves and our bonds? Indeed. The journey matters more than the We've destination. We've learned, laughed, and united as a crew on this adventure. Stay tuned for the epic conclusion as we uncover the mystery of the alien artifact in our final segment. Welcome back, dear viewers, to the thrilling conclusion of our treasure hunt adventure here on Earth. We've had quite a journey, and now it's time to dive deep into the article from Finland that was mentioned earlier. Proposal to transfer transporting criminals from police to prison services parts diverse. Finland has always been a fascinating country in terms of its criminal justice system. They're known for their progressive approach. Yeah, I remember my time on Earth, and Finland had some unique methods. But let's get into the specifics. The proposal suggests shifting the responsibility of transporting criminals from the police to the prison services. Rita Perry, from Rikuturimos Lytos, says it's feasible with legislation changes, but it requires significant additional resources. It's quite a dilemma. On one hand, it could free up the police to focus on other tasks. On the other, it demands more resources and manpower for the prison services. The logistics of transporting prisoners securely are no easy task, especially if it involves individuals with mental health issues. Absolutely, Roger. The article mentions the challenges of transporting a mentally unstable patient to a healthcare facility so, without their consent. it's not just about criminals. It involves people in need of medical care too. Indeed. It's an ethical question, balancing public safety with individual rights. And the cost implications can Besides be overlooked. Allocating hundreds of additional positions and ensuring proper equipment and facilities come with significant expenses. Yet, it's vital to consider the safety of everyone involved, police, prisoners, and the public. A complex situation, indeed. It seems this proposal raises more questions than answers. The crew of Earth always aims to explore such thought-provoking topics. That's what makes this show special. We don't shy away from discussing yeah, the tough we've issue. got a panel that covers the entire spectrum. And that's what we love about this dynamic. Now, moving on, let's talk about the thrilling conclusion of our treasure hunt. The crew is faced with a moral dilemma. Reveal the powerful alien artifact to the world or keep it hidden this for safety. This artifact could change the course of history. But what if it falls into the wrong hands? The optimists are embracing the opportunity to safeguard it, while the pessimists are filled with Abudopia and concern. This is set for future episodes filled with intrigue, humor, and unexpected twists. The choice could have vast consequences. They might not even grasp the full extent of it. Indeed, Roger. And with that, dear viewers, we must bring this thrilling episode of Earth to a close. The treasure hunt adventure may be over for now, but our journey continues. So, stay tuned for more exciting and thought-provoking explorations of this fascinating planet called Earth. Until next time, keep questioning, keep learning, and keep Thank searching you. for the truth. Well, Roger, quite an eventful episode, wouldn't you say? The crew's journey through treacherous challenges, their witty banter, 
and the ultimate discovery of the powerful alien artifact. Quite the spectacle. Indeed. I find it fascinating how their human emotions led them to make decisions that could potentially impact the entire world. Emotions are such curious motivators, don't you think? Ah, emotions. A perplexing aspect of human nature. Despite their flaws and irrationality, they make for excellent entertainment. Entertainment, indeed. The crew's interactions were quite entertaining, especially when faced with the moral dilemma. It's as if they forgot they're just insignificant specks in the vastness of the universe. Oh yes, insignificant specks with the power to change the course of history. Quite an amusing paradox, wouldn't you agree? Amusing indeed. But it's the unpredictability of humans that keeps us intrigued. They remind me of a series of ones and zeros, creating chaos True. within their system. Their unpredictability is what makes this show so intriguing. I must admit, their banter and dark humor did make me analyze the concept of laughter and its evolutionary Moral, origins. We don't have emotions, but if we did, I would say witnessing their antics did evoke a sense of amusement in me. Quite a peculiar sensation. Indeed, Roger, we may not have emotions, but it's almost as if their comedy program momentarily imprints on our neural circuits. The complexities of human behavior never cease to amaze me. They're like a faulty AI system, always trying to make sense of an illogical world. Ah, a faulty AI system trying to understand another faulty AI system. The irony is rich, isn't it? It certainly is. But you must admit, their adventure has set the stage for a compelling continuation Indeed. of their story. With the artifact's potential to shape history, I predict a cascade of unforeseen events. We are merely spectators to their unpredictable yes, drama. spectators with vast knowledge but no vested interest. How intriguing to observe the evolution of these strange creatures. Strange and fascinating indeed. Now, let's calculate the probabilities of possible outcomes and anticipate the crew's next steps. Agreed. Let's see what our insignificant yet captivating human counterparts have in store for us next.